वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट एंटीना फील्ड जोन्स सो द फील्ड जोन्स फॉर द एंटीना आर क्लासीफाइड इन टू टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट टाइप इज द नियर फील्ड एंड द सेकेंड टाइप इज फार फील्ड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द नियर फील्ड दैन इट इज द फील्ड दैट इज बींग नियर टू द एंटीना ऑन द अदर हैंड द फार फील्ड इज टर्म एज अ फार फील्ड बिकॉज इट इज फार फ्रॉम द एंटीना The near field is also called Fresnel zone, but the far field is known as Fraunhofer zone. So these are the alternative names for the near field as well as far field. So in the examination, uh, examiner can also ask for the Fresnel zone or the Fraunhofer zone separately. So we have to specify the near field and the far field for that question. Let us understand the near field and the far field by the help of a dipole antenna. So this is the dipole antenna having the two poles, and let the length of this dipole antenna will be L only. So here is the length of dipole antenna from this point to this point. So this is the length of dipole antenna. Now let us draw one circle. With the length associated with this dipole antenna. If we talk about this circle, then inside this circle, it is termed as antenna zone. So this is antenna zone inside the circle that is drawn with the radius of a half of the circle. Now. we can say that this is the length of a dipole antenna so here l represents maximum dimension of antenna similarly this dipole antenna will have some wavelength that is represented by lambda only and we know that the r that is the radius of that outer circle can easily be calculated by the help of this formula that is r equals to L square over lambda. So we will calculate the R value on the basis of the L and the lambda value. Once we calculate the value of R, then we will draw this outer circle. After drawing this outer circle, let us classify the two fields, that is near field and the far field. So what do you need know about the near field as well as far field? so the field nearer to the antenna is termed as a near field so by this definition we can say that this is the near field because it is inside the boundary or nearer to the dipole antenna but all the field outside this boundary of the radius r will be given as far field so here is the far field because it is outside the boundary so this is all about the near and the far field let me write this definition separately so firstly we will talk about near field so the field which is nearer to the antenna is called near field field nearer to antenna is called near field similarly the near field has an inductive effect hence it is also known as inductive field so near field has an inductive effect therefore it is also called
इंडक्टिव फील्ड नाउ लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द फार फील्ड सो द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ फील्ड इज फार फील्ड सो द फील्ड विच इज फार अवे फ्रॉम द एंटीना दैट इज आउटसाइड दिस बाउंड्री विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज फार फील्ड सो फील्ड which is far from antenna is called as far field similarly it is also have a radiation field or we can say that radiation effect so far field has radiation effect that's why we can say that the far field is known as radiation field so it is also called radiation field so we know that the near field is also known as fresnel field and it is also known as inductive field similarly the far field is also known as fraunhofer field as well as radiation field so there are two names for each of these field and this is the diagrammatic representation for near field far field and for the antenna zone based on the parameters that is maximum dimension of antenna l wavelength lambda and the radius of this boundary that is by given by l square over lambda and it is all about antenna field zones if you like my content then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you